C inversion, playing the A, D, and then B, G, A, D, and then coming up to this F sharp uh, inversion. And he does a little bit something extra there. So he plays <laughs> the A string and then the D string. A minor and he just hits the root note of this A minor and then jumps over here to this um, my, um, to the minor third okay and he's playing right there okay it's a fifth fret of the G string that's a C and then over here coming over here to the A Okay, and E. Okay. And then we have this little hammer on, little uh, Hendrix style. Okay, where you're pressing down on these two on the fifth fret of that C and E, and, uh, and you're um, hammering on up here to this D. Okay, pretty easy. Um, but that's it. Now remember that this is a really cool way to play a C as opposed to playing a C here. He's playing it this way. And that way he's putting the E in front, which is cool. That's the third, the major third. So it's called a first inversion. Um, and it sounds, sounds really nice. So you can play that like if you're playing a C. You just, it, it, a way to remember it without knowing a lot of theory or anything is just go, oh, I can reverse the, the bar chord when I'm playing a bar chord on the A string. Just reverse it instead of putting this note down here, reverse it and have this finger play these three strings and bring this finger up and jump over that. Jimi Hendrix, again comes back to Hendrix. Okay, so there's a C, that's a D, that's an E. And I was calling that an F sharp, excuse me for saying that. That's it, that's really an E, because my mistake. But that's an E uh, major uh, triad, <clears throat> or inversion, excuse me. So, okay, hope that helps. <laughs>